Welcome everybody to the, this kite making tutorial produced by Inner West Council Libraries. Before all, I want to thank the Gadigal and Wangol people of the Eura Nation for letting us share your land. We promise to look after it, the animals and people too. All right, so we're going to make a kite. And we're going to make a kite with things that we have in the kitchen, like some skewers, wooden skewers, and some baking paper, and some stuff we have from our art box, so some lovely colorful paper, whatever you have, and some glue, and a pair of scissors, and a ruler and things from the toolbox, a cutting wire. And of course, don't forget about the cotton twine. We are going to need a line to fly our cat. All right, so the first things we do is we take two skewers and we'll need to have a long one and a shorter one which is going to be two-thirds of the long one. So how do we do that? We measure, so first we cut the little pointy bit of the skewers, because we don't want to hurt ourselves. Then we measure it. So after we divide by three, and it will give us one-third. We mark one-third. Okay. We take the second one and we put it alongside the first one. We mark one third as well and we cut it. And we got our two sticks. Now, the short one, we put a little mark in the middle of the short one. And also something else we're going to do before assembling, because I'll show you something. We're going to make the lozenge with so, the center cross and some of the string running around, along the perimeters, and that's our lozenge goal. So in order to do that, we're going to notch it. So to notch it, we just take the cutting pliers and just give a little nip. Nip. Okay, another nip. And nip. And nip. Down. Okay, so we've nipped, and I forgot to tell you about the masking tape. So, because we don't want the wire to go too far, we're just going to put a little bit of masking tape around it. See, around each end to make sure that the wire is not going to go too far. So, if, 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 if you have if you have uh, some skewers which are smaller than those ones, another thing you can do to stop the wire from going down is take a little bit of, the, of skewers and stick it there. And it will go against your little bit of skewers as a stopper. So that's another possibility if you can't do the nip, nip, nip. So now we remember our little mark, the little mark on the long one, the little mark on the short one. We put a bit of glue up. We align our little marks and put a little bit of masking tape to hold it together. We check that it's hasn't moved too much. No, it hasn't moved too much. Now we are going to cut once we got our little center crossy bit. <coughs> we are going to cut 
a bit of our twine, as long as we want it to be in order to reach the sky. So I measure like that, and I'm going to make it about four meters, you see, because I don't want it to go too far and get lost in the trees, for example. So let's put five meters to be generous. So now we do that. We tied it up to the center, like that it's going to make it even stronger, but we don't cut it. So we tied it up and we go around and around and around and around and around and around that side, around, around, and a little bit more like that, okay? And we do a little loop and we don't get stuck <laughs> like I just did. Poof, pull it, we're not going to cut it because it's going to be our line. So we're going to run it along one of the side, secure it with a little bit of masking tape. Off we go. And now we can go around in the little notch that we made when we did snip, snip, snip. And same thing there. I'm sure you can ask one of your big brother, sister, or one of the adult with you to give you a hand if it's too tricky that particular little bit. And we are still not cutting it. We go back to the center <coughs> because remember, it's going to be our line to fly our kite. Okay. We got our skeleton. We can see already that's a, a little kite. So now we have to dress up our skeleton. So we take one of the baking, the baking paper. We sit our little kite in here. Okay, there we are. <coughs> we hold it nicely and we mark it all around. It doesn't need to be a very, very precise mark. So mark around, mark around. So we have cut and marked our baking paper. So now we're going to put another mark in about, oh, I don't know, about two centimeters from the line we first mark. There we are. We cut it. And we also going to do a little cut for the corner. You'll see why, because we have to accommodate our little stick hand. A little nip there, cut there, cut there, snap. We'll see when uh, we do the next step if we need to cut a little bit more, you know. And also, it would be really good if we just tied the little bits for the tails and for the wing before we close the skin around the skeleton. Oh, so I got a great big bit for the tail. So the tail is not only to make it pretty, it's also to make it a little bit heavier at the back. And like that, you are sure that the head is the head. Okay. So I got two little bits because I'd like to put a little bow at each wings. Like that, it's easier for it to be caught in the trees. <laughs> Done. Okay, so now we can put its skin on. Okay, so everybody is in place. So now we fold. Little fold there, a fold there. Same thing for all the sides. Don't put your string inside as I've done sometimes. <laughs> and we're going to secure <coughs> with just a tiny little bit of tape for them to stay in place. What is good with the masking tape, you see, is that it's like paper. So that means you can paint over it and make it like a very pretty ornament. 
now what that we've done that, we're going to go all along the hem with our masking tape. Always make sure that your strings are not under the masking tape. There. Two more. Cut a little bit sticky out. We've done a round. Now we have to put just some little bit to make sure that the skin is well attached to the center. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the little bows. So you take whatever paper you want, ornamental, recycle, whatever you want, and you just crunch it, twist it a bit, and just little knot. That's enough. Voilà. And off you go. You put as many as you want. Okay. And your little kite is ready to be painted. So, can be painted. You see, I did a little face and a little motif at the back. But on that one, which is a little bit bigger, I just took some paint and make it just colorful. Okay, so now we're going to have to do something with uh, the line. <coughs> so we're going to take one empty paper roll. Off we go, that side, the other side. Go through. Up and roll. But it's easy when you take it, you won't have a great big mess. Ready. So now you just have to wait for a sunny day and a windy day and go and fly your kite. Hello. You can send us a nice picture of your kite if you want. And don't forget to check our e-resources, we got a, a craft and hobby reference center when there is lots of activity for you, children. And in our collection, look what I found. Thank you for watching and see you another time. Bye.